Good evening. APS teachers gave the school board an earful tonight, demanding the board address the rising number of guns on their campuses. News 13's Gabe Chavez was at that meeting tonight, and he's outside APS headquarters this evening with details. Gabe. Dean, it wasn't planned for tonight, but the board heard from several West Mesa High School teachers calling for the board to step up, saying that nothing seems to be working and they don't feel safe. Because I don't want to die before I retire. I don't feel safe. That was the outcry from West Mesa High School teachers and staff tonight over the number of guns appearing on campus. Every time I walk into a new classroom, my first response is, all right, where do I got to put my kids? What do I got to do to keep my kids safe? West Mesa High School has had two incidents this school year. The first in December, when a gun went off in a woodshop class just before the winter break, no one was hurt. Last week, a student brought a gun to school and was caught. The previous school year, one student was killed just outside the high school's grounds. More than a dozen West Mesa staff members spoke to the board tonight. They say even their students feel helpless. And I just want to leave you with what my students have expressed to me, you know, one kid, Oscar, I feel say, unsafe at these schools because the potential weapons. And I have another kid that says, I don't think our teachers know what to do in a situation where there is a weapon. I don't trust them with my life. According to staff, West Mesa has only one APS police officer and three security guards. The district says they're doing everything in their power to help, but there's a problem. Currently, we have 30 openings for CSAs, campus security aides, and if people want to apply, we are looking because, as you heard tonight, West Mesa would like more people. Well, we need more people so we can put them on the campuses. The district hammered home the guns are being brought in to the school, and the issue is where are the students getting them? Now, the board could not comment during the meeting, but after said they are extremely concerned. But we need support. I mean, I think it's the, the issue of gun violence is broader than just the school uh, because we do know that the issue of gun violence just in our community has also seen a rise. Now, Superintendent Elder says that the district takes these incidents seriously. And if a student brings a gun on campus, they're automatically expelled. Back to you. All right, Gabe, thank you. Tonight, the board voted on a new goal-setting program to help the district comply with the Yazzie Martinez lawsuits and improve student performance.